Hey everyone, so I am back with my part two of my favorites of 2012. I already did the makeup favorites and now I'm going to do my hair, skin, and body products that I just have been loving this year and they've just become staples in my, you know, routine. So I hope you can find some new products to try out and let's get started. Okay, so my first thing is a makeup remover and I use this every single night when I am taking off my makeup. It's the Alba Multipurpose Jelly. And this is 100% vegetarian ingredients, no petroleum, animal testing, mineral oil, paraffin, artificial fragrances, colors, parabens, or phthalates. So all there is in here is castor oil, beeswax, and um, coconut oil. It's just like a nice kind of rich, it looks like, it looks like Vaseline but it's not. So now I have this on my hands, lovely. So what I do is I take like a pea-sized amount of that and I rub it together with a gentle cleanser, just any cleanser, not like a, I'm just gonna put this on my arms. It can be a moisturizer too, right? I rub it together with any cleanser and then I'll put it over my eyes and then on my face and it just kind of sets in a little bit and then I, when I rub it, it literally melts all the makeup off your face. So. It is just like an instant makeup remover. It is natural, so it will not burn your eyes at all. And it is just, it's good. Like you you feel good putting it on your eyes because you know it's not gonna do any damage. So um, you could also use it for a moisturizer too. I know Candy Johnson uses it as a, a face moisturizer at night because it's really, really hydrating, but it's a little too thick for me. But I just have found for using it as a makeup remover, it works amazing. Next I have three cleansers. I have three just because I use cleansers for different things. At night, you know, I use a gentle cleanser to take off my makeup and then I'll use either a scrub or more of like a chemical cleanser to do some more deep cleaning. I'll tell you about it. So for my scrub, the Avalon Organics Exfoliating Enzyme Scrub in Lavender is the best. The best scrub I've ever tried. It is, this is what the packaging looks like. It smells like just, it smells kind of like to me like lavender and look, I think there's licorice root in here. Yeah, it smells like lavender and licorice root and it is so just like gentle. It's, it's exfoliating, but it's not like rough or anything like that. It's super calming to your skin. It just honestly feels so good. It's hard to explain it in any other way but I'll use this after my makeup is off or I'll use it in the morning and it has just been one of my all-time favorites this year. And then I also like to have a cleanser that is exfoliating underneath the skin. So this is DDF Glycolic 5% Exfoliating Wash. So this has glycolic in it and the purpose of glycolic washes is it exfoliates underneath your skin. So on the back it says it minimizes fine lines, it purifies deep down to the pores, and it smooths your skin's texture. And that's the biggest kind of thing that I notice. When I use this on a regular basis, I notice that my skin's texture just improves so much. You know, it's not bumpy anymore, it's so smooth, and just looks really, really nice. So this is also supposed to help with anti-aging because since it's exfoliating underneath your skin, it is promoting cell renewal and which helps you know the anti-aging process slow down so this is a great cleanser uh also it is a little pricey but i have had the, okay i have this much left not much left at all but i have had this for i think coming up on two years now so definitely worth the price i am going to run and grab this again once i run out and then a cleanser just for removing makeup just a gentle cleanser to have which is nice always is the michael todd honey and oat and it's a deep pore cleanser this is amazing it's very gentle it feels really good on your skin it definitely gets rid of any dirt or grime on your face and you can just tell it just is really really cleaning your skin so i use this every single day to, I usually combine these two um, and then use it on its own too. So this stuff is great, highly suggest this. They also sell Michael Todd products on Groupon sometimes. So definitely, um, you know, keep your eye out for it. Okay, and then the next thing is the Cebu Seed Buckthorn Seed Oil. And I use this as a spot treatment. So if I'm ever, this is what it looks like up close. If I'm ever having like problems on my face, pimples or anything like that, I will use this as a spot treatment and just kind of dab it on any areas of redness, any pimples, and 
honestly, I feel like overnight it totally reduces the size and helps so much. And I know a lot of you guys are probably not wanting to try this because it's an oil and you don't want to put an oil on your pimples, but oils for my pimples have been like the best thing that I've ever tried. So just try this. It's not that expensive. I ordered mine off of Amazon and I just feel like I was kind of at the point where I was like nothing's working, everything was too strong for my skin and when I tried something natural, it like automatically cured it. So this is amazing for pimples. For two moisturizers, my day one that I use nonstop every single day is the Origins Vita Zing and it's SPF 15 and it has mangosteen in here. I, I think this is my third bottle of this this year and the thing I like about this, I know some people don't like this. so. Uh, I just love it. When you get some of the product out, it is white, but when you put it on your skin, it oxidizes to your skin tone and it changes into like your skin color. So you can't really tell my skin because it's going to blend in. But the thing I like about this is it gives you just a little bit of tint in the morning so it gets rid of any redness and it just gives you a nice base, a smooth base for your makeup and it smells amazing like any Origins product and I just, I love it. Okay, next for a night moisturizer, this is the Revival Labs, super long name, Alpha Lipoic Acid Vitamin C Ester and DMAE Cream. So this is what it looks like. I got mine off of uh, Vitacost, but every time I use this, when I wake up in the morning, I notice my skin looks really good. Like, when I look in the mirror, I feel like my skin just, without makeup, obviously, I just feel like my pores are a lot smaller. My skin looks very just smooth and like the texture looks good. It has just amazing ingredients in this. So obviously I think that's why. Uh, it says it treats past damage and fights future damage. So I got this because I wanted to treat um, sun damage and this is what it targets. So if any of you guys have sun damage from the past, I think you will love this. Every single review I read on this was so good so it was kind of like okay i have to use this so um honestly try this if you are looking for a good night moisturizer it's kind of like a gel so it's not super rich but it's it's heavy enough for me so yeah i love this stuff i have no plans on buying a new night cream now because i found one that just works wonders for my skin okay moving on to hair things the first isn't is a mask it is the proclaim argan oil mask and I got this from Sally's Beauty Supply. It looks like this. And this is just the best mask I've ever found. It hydrates my hair so much. It makes my hair feel so soft and silky and just gives my hair a lot of shine after I shower. So this is my second bottle of this and it's just a nice heavy rich cream and smells not the greatest, but it works. So. Um, I'm not going to complain. So it just says intense hydrating mask and it has argan oil in it and I love it. It's just kind of like one of those things if your hair is ever, you know, really dry, not feeling that great, use this and your hair will kind of like go back to where it was. My favorite dry shampoo has got to be the Batiste dry shampoo. I've tried a couple of the different kinds. They have a blonde one which I tried and this is just the fresh scent and it is a little bit white when you spray it but when I rub it in you don't notice it but if you brown hair I wouldn't get this kind I would get the brunette one but these are the first dry shampoos that actually make your hair feel like you just washed it like my bumble and bubble one when you spray it in it makes your hair like feel coated and nasty these actually like you feel like you washed your hair so these are amazing. I get mine at Ulta. Okay, the next product is a shine spray. It is by Euphora and it is called the Illuminate Shine Mist. And this is just a beautiful shine spray. I'm gonna actually put some on right now. Um, the lady who did, I just sprayed that in my eye. The lady who did my hair for my wedding used this all over my hair and she like sprayed so much in it. But it just kind of seals the cuticle along with giving your hair shine, but I love it so much and it smells really good too. And then last for hair, I have a couple curl products. This one is by Bumble and Bumble. It is the BB Texture Hair Undressing Cream. And this, I, gosh, I got this a while ago, but this is just a great product, especially in the summer when you don't want to really mess with your hair. The one thing about it, you have to put it on wet hair. So 
what I do after I shower, I will rub like a dime size amount into my hands and then just rub it throughout my hair, like on the ends everywhere and then brush it through so it's even and then scrunch it and kind of mess with it. And it'll just give your hair some body, some texture and some volume. And you can do it with curly or straight hair. If you want to do it with curly hair, I scrunch it up and then kind of let it air dry. And then if I want to do straight hair, I will blow dry it straight and it just gives you a lot of volume. So this is kind of a good product for a lot of different uses. It just, it says on here, um, it says it gives hair that elusive undone yet done quality with a hint of grit, extra lift and tassel, tasseled shine free finish. The thing I love about this product is my hairstylist who recommended this to me said it's cool because you know you can use it in the morning do your hair or whatnot and then in, when you wake up the next day you still kind of have some of it left and you can just kind of scrunch your hair and kind of mess with it and it kind of comes back to life so it's a really cool hair product and I'll probably always have it just because it's kind of like an easy go-to product especially in the summer when you just want to put something in your hair and let it air dry it is perfect for that and the last one is the Beyond the Zone Super Sexy Texturize and Distort, Distort Spray and it's for sexy, wavy, and messy hair. So this one is from ba Sally's Beauty Supply. And this is good for wet or dry hair. I use it on dry hair um, more often than wet hair. And this just gives your hair instant volume, instant curl. I can actually spray it on my hair right now and you can see. It smells kind of like candy. But I have used so much of this this year. It's kind of been like a product that I tell everybody to go buy because I just I just kind of can't be without it. The thing I like about this too is when you put it like since I already curled my hair when you spray it into already curled hair it'll kind of boost your curls again so it kind of just like if you do your hair in the morning and then you're going out at night you can just spray this in and you have like a new style all over again. This is amazing. It's really cheap too. It's $7.49 for this and it's lasted me so long I still have like this much left so totally suggest that it also kind of acts as like a hairspray too which is which is always good okay last I have some body things I have a body lotion and two shower things so the first body lotion is the Brazilian keratin and argan oil Giovanni body lotion this smells like lemon pie I think I think it smells like lemon pie yes lemon pie it is to die for. The scent is so good. Somebody told me it smelled like like summer, like beach, but it doesn't smell like beach to me. It smells like lemon pie. Oh, it smells so good. And it's um, it's not 100% natural, I don't think, but it says no phthalates, artificial fragrance, dyes, sulfates, parabens, and PEG. So that is good for me, especially for lotions. I want something that is more natural because it's just soaking into your pores and this is a great lotion. And then for a couple of shower products, I have this body wash by Pharmacopia. This is, I usually don't like body washes. They're just kind of like whatever, you know, you put them on and you wash them off. But this is the first body wash that smells so fresh and you don't get sick of it. You know when you're in the shower and you just like get really sick of your, the scents. This is verbena and green tea, green tea. So it smells like lemon to me. And I love the packaging. It's just kind of like simple, kind of old fashioned. And it has uh, aloe vera in it. And it's super hydrating. And I love this stuff. No synthetic fragrance, color, or fillers. And um, it is, let's see, plant based cleansers and organic ingredients. And then the last thing is this scrub. This is by Prestige. It's the Wonder Polish. I've mentioned this before. It is in the scent Ocean Mist. And this is, here, let me show you what it looks like. So it looks kind of just like sea salt. And then all that's in here is sea salt, almond oil, vitamin E, aloe extract, calendula, rosehip, and um, fragrance oil. The thing I like about this is it totally moisturizes your skin. So a lot of times when you use scrubs, they just kind of, you know, they get rid of dead skin cells, but they just leave your skin feeling really dry. When I use this, I honestly don't need to use lotion when I get out of the shower. I don't know how I think it's just because it has the oils in there but when I use it it just like moisturizes my skin so much it leaves a little bit of an oil on my skin and it feels amazing and I just love love this scrub and I think it's gonna last me a really really long time because it's got a lot of product in there okay that is it for my favorites for 2012 for hair skin 
and face. The sun is going down, so it's time for me to end this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye!